Well, I'm going to start off that I was born in West Africa, Ghana. My parents were expats, um, and they worked for an organization at the time that was funded um, by one of a government agency. And I'm going to tell you, I came to the United States in 1976 at four, and my mother and I were talking about this the other night, that I was an L student coming to America. Um, and the first country that I ever visited, even though I was American citizen, was America. Um, my parents were originally from Philadelphia, West Philadelphia, which I'm proud to say. Um, and I had my formative years in West Philadelphia and I went back overseas to finish my education in, um, in high school, for high school. And I came back to Pennsylvania, I went to undergrad and grad school in the state of Pennsylvania. I am. I had the opportunity to um, get married here in the city of Alexandria, actually at Alpha Street Baptist Church, um, which is one of our um, historic ch churches here in the city of Alexandria. And my son was actually born at Inovia Hospital right around the corner. So my roots tied to the city of Alexandria runs deep. I'm a military spouse and um, have had the opportunity to, because of my husband to work in six different school districts across the world, including Hawaii, Korea, and Japan. When we refer, return from Asia to um, back to the United States, we moved here into Cameron Station where Samuel um, the school is nestled. And the first time I heard about Samuel W. Tucker was from my son when he was in third grade. So I had no idea who he was and my son came in and educated me about this wonderful man who opened up so many doors for our students, I mean for, for students. So um, that's how I first learned of Samuel Tucker. Tucker. Both my so son and daughter were students that's here. Sweet. And when he graduated from fifth, when well, well, he promoted from fifth grade, he received the Samuel W. Tucker um, book. And um, they made sure that every student was able to receive this book upon their promotion from fifth grade. I was, the, I was an assistant principal here for five years prior to that. So I was pretty much ingrained in the community. Um, I lived here for about five or six years, and then I became the system, one um, assistant principal here at Samuel Tucker. And during that time, I became very, very familiar to the story of Samuel Tucker. Started last year, the last couple of years, especially after the pandemic, and when we came back together as a staff, we wanted to remember and recall, why are we here? And because when you're going through the pandemic, you think and you, you look at you know, what's important, and for me, that's what we, I looked at is what was important. And understanding Samuel W. Tucker and his contributions to the city of Alexandria. And when, I, um, and when we reopened, there was, we decided as an administrative team that we are going to always honor Samuel W. Tucker. We don't start anything the new year without talking about who Samuel W. Tucker is and his legacies, legacy and whose shoulders that we stand upon because though these are the strong shoulders that we stand on to help us get through the day to day. When we go through our character education and our social emotional time, um, in the morning, um, we, all, we always ingrain the characteristics of Samuel W. Tucker and who he was. Um, we work hard to get smart, which was one of his um, sayings. And when you go onto our website, you will see that we give honor to him first because he was the one that established that safe harbor, making sure each student, as Dr. Um, Miss David said, that each student that walk through the doors of any school or any, um, any educational facilities, facility here in the city of Alexandria, that they had a safe harbor and that they had the ability to become who they want to become. And that is what he did, mm -hmm. opening those doors for, um, for us all. Um, 
back in 2014, we had an awesome teacher that did create a reenactment of um, Samuel Tucker's sit-in. And that, that um, reenactment that has been recorded is, lives on here so our students can learn more about him and as well as his legacy will never be forgotten. Um, also, last year, unfortunately, because our 20th year anniversary, we were in the pandemic, we couldn't really celebrate. So we, last year, when we all, when we were able to all come back to school um, last school year, we celebrated the 20th anniversary of Samuel Tucker, um, um, Samuel W. Tucker, the school opening. And what we did, we, we had special activities for our students, and then we also had special um, presentations as well as bulletin boards and celebrations to celebrate who he was so we will not forget where, I mean, where we originated from and the impact of our predecessor of, you know, of um, Kathy David of establishing the, um, this brand new school and the reason and the legacy of who Samuel W. Tucker was. I am humbled to be the first woman of color, first person of color to be at the helm, principal of Samuel T Tucker Elementary. I am his wildest dream. Just to think about it, we, we hear that, that we are our ancestors' wildest dream. I am his wildest dream. Would he have ever thought that a school would be named after him, one, to be as diverse with 35 languages spoken from children from all over the world and then for me to be the principal. I am his legacy and that is something that Miss David started with the name with the opening of Samuel Tucker not forgetting his legacy and we have to pay respect and homage to those who came before us, those who fought that fight for us. It is amazing and it's profound. And we take so much for granted. And just sitting here with you, I feel even more invigorated, um, Recharge because it's the end of the year, <laughs> you know, when you it's you were about to close another year, but it gives me pride and purpose. Understanding that we're opening doors to Afghan girls who've never had the opportunity to learn or go to school in their home country and now they can hear freely and giving them that support. That's what he, that's what this man did, and this is what he wanted. Civil rights for all. When we first moved here to Alexandria from, um, from Okinawa, Japan, I really didn't know anyone in the area. I had no idea where you know what this area was brand new to the area after eight years you know where the first place i went where the first place i took my children after probably a week being here was the library and when you go into the library beatley library which is right across the street from us you're going to see the hub of the community at night you're going to see english classes taking place you're going to see people um individuals who do not have access to the internet sitting and accessing the internet and you'll see students from the high school working um, and you'll see our, our students in the library reading in the children's nook reading what does the what does a library give I remember when I was young in West Philadelphia as soon as I got off from school running down to the main library and what did that give me it gave me a great escape and reading and having access to books is a great escape and it gives you the opportunity to explore lands that or places that you would never have the opportunity to explore. 
So be, libraries are very, very important. And with Mr. Tucker having the foresight to understand the importance of a library and what a library can do for a child and what he fought for for us, us all, once again, I'm in, I'm in awe to be able to sit here and be the principal of Samuel W. Tucker Elementary.